Hello everybody, I'm Juan Fernandez and here's your CBS On The Go update. The 2028 Summer Olympics are coming to Southern California and the city of Long Beach is using it as motivation to make improvements. This week, the city launched its 8 by 28 initiative, which includes eight infrastructure improvement projects. The main project will be the renovation of the Belmont Veterans Memorial Pier, which will be the anchor for the Olympic sailing competition. The city will also host six other sports, including a triathlon and BMX cycling. Women and men across the Southland are planning to fill the streets of downtown LA this weekend for the second annual Women's March. It kicks off 830 on Saturday morning with a rally at 5th and Hill. Then at 10 a.m. people will march from Pershing Square to City Hall. Metro will have extra trains running from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you went last year, you'll remember there were long lines to buy tap cards. You can do that ahead of time at any Metro Rail station or go to the website taptogo.net for more information. Now let's go to our CBS2 travel forecast with meteorologist Danielle Gersh. Thanks, Juan. Very cold temperature is going to continue over the deep south and the southeast into tomorrow. A series of low pressure systems going to bring a lot of rain to parts of Northern California and into the Pacific Northwest into the weekend. Locally heavy rain and strong winds going to be likely across the coastal locations and heavy snow expected from the Sierra to the Cascades over the next few days. High temperatures today mid 70s here in the Southland, so we will be warm, especially in comparison to the rest of the country. Once again, upper 50s in Salt Lake City, near 60 in Denver this afternoon, 40s in Butte, near freezing in Grand Forks, right at about freezing for a high temperature this afternoon. Same with Chicago, 30s and 40s from Boston down into Manhattan and into Charlotte, even 40s from Houston into Dallas. So as far as weather related travel delays possible, we see some delays through Newark and through San Francisco and Phoenix. Other than that, you are in good shape. Here at home, we do have a high surf advisory in effect until Saturday night. So surf going to peak this afternoon into tomorrow. We could see sets 12 to 15 feet. Dangerous rip currents too. So be very careful if you're heading to the beach. An area of low pressure going to cool down our temperatures tomorrow too. Bring us some light showers and some snow showers. So winter weather advisories going into effect for the mountains. Those will be with us until noon on Saturday. Snow level is going to drop down to about 2,500, 3,000 feet. And those northern facing slopes could pick up about six inches of snow. Most places we're talking about one to three inches though. So for today we have high temperatures above average for the last day. Uh, heading into tomorrow we'll take off about 10 degrees though. Highs just going to be in the low to mid 60s. Look at your overnight temperatures the next couple of days dropping down to the 30s for the valleys. As we head into Saturday the sun shines back. We'll stay cool through your weekend though. We have another chance to see some light showers. A tail end of a cold front will pass by to start next week. Juan back to you. All right thanks so much, Danielle. Could the next beauty secret be pot? CBS 2's Peter Doubt shows us the new products aimed at helping you look and feel your best. At Bella Cures Nail Salon in Studio City, this pedicure has a special ingredient, cannabis. It's nice and tingly and it feels great. These canicures use the legal non-psychoactive element of marijuana called CBD. They won't get you high, but can work to alleviate pain and induce calm. We thought what better way to help our customers relax than to incorporate it into a mani-pedi service. Canicures use bath bombs made by Kush Queen. The company makes a variety of products infused with cannabis, including pain relief lotions and shower gels. And it's really just about finding what works for you. It smells like the tropics oh, wow. and it actually doesn't smell like weed, does it? Mm -mm. No. And they're not the only ones creating products with CBD. From creams, lip balms, and bubble baths made by the company Hi Gorgeous. Cannabis has been a beauty secret for a really long time. It's just that people haven't been talking about it as much until now. To oral sprays and body lotions made by Be True Organics. It makes you feel good, plus it has all those antioxidants that help with anti-aging. To oils, scrubs, and skincare products made by Sana Sana Wellness. But you want something that protects your skin, treats your skin, and nourishes it all in one. The beauty world is crazy for cannabis. There's even marijuana makeup at Koreatown Collective. CBD is going to be the fountain of youth. It helps with rebuilding the collagen in your skin. It helps with re reducing your wrinkles. And now that marijuana is legal in California, get ready to see more cannabis products aimed at helping you look and feel your best. I really think that cannabis isn't a trend. It's going to be something that's going to stick around for a very long time.
Now here's your CBS on the go sports. The Lakers faced the Oklahoma City Thunder last night. Lonzo's injured knee kept him out of the lineup again, but Brandon Ingram's sprained ankle had healed up from Monday and he was able to play. It wasn't enough though. The Lakers came up short in Oklahoma 90 to 114. And in football, don't forget you can see the AFC Championship on CBS 2 this Sunday as the Patriots host the Jaguars. Kickoff is at 12.05 from Gillette Stadium. That's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Juan Fernandez. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And be sure to watch us here on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.